What is going on everybody? Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today's video I'm going to be showing the ALC settings that I've been using for the past few weeks and which I'm going to be using into this ne next season of Apex season 12. If you enjoyed the content, like, comment, and subscribe. Come on over to the Twitch, come on over to the Twitter, Discord, everything's in the description box. I'm going to go over thing, everything like pretty in depth or is to the best of my ability, just because there's a lot of new players coming to Apex. If you're too impatient for that, then I hope somebody is very kind enough to put in the comments section everything, like all my settings, so you don't have to sit through the video. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you're way too impatient for that, then I guess, I don't know, go find a different video or something. But all right, so basically my settings. Right now, I'm using a two dead zone, a two outer threshold, a one response curve. My per optics are one, 1 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, all the way down. Um, yaw speed, 250. Pitch speed, 250. Turning extra, 150. 137 for both of these, none for the rest. And uh, aim assist is basically on, obviously. So why am I using these settings? This is where I'm going to like basically talk it down to you so uh, new players and everything so your dead zone you dead zone you don't actually want to always copy what I'm using so your dead zone is when your controller is like going if you're if it's moving on its own that means you have a dead zone typically what they say for you to do is move this percentage up until you got your character isn't moving anymore um, I like a little bit of stick drift that's why I'm on two percent it also makes my thumbstick a little bit more responsive, so that's my reasoning for that. Um, outer threshold, I've seen some people use 1, some people use 2%, some people use 3%. It's I just use it as default. I don't really have a good feel on the reason why people switch this one too much. Um, so response curve, the default response curve. So if you come back here and you look at response curve, uh, it'll say like classic that response curve in the ALC settings is 10, which is the default. I play all the way down at a one, a zero is absolute raw input linear sensitivity. And I like just above that, just because I like, I like how the controller feels as far as any sort of little movement that I use on my joystick. I want inputted. I don't want to have to move. I don't want to move my joystick this much and then my character doesn't resemble that. I like the the literal any sort of feeling I put on my controller. I like that. So that's why I'm playing at a one. I've tried like five. I've tried I've tried standard. It doesn't work for me if it's a little bit clunkier. In my opinion, this way, everything is a lot smoother. So that's why I play on a one per optics. Um, I just think that the higher you go, you need to have a little bit more on your sensitivity just because when you're scoped in more, you have to pull down on the joystick a little bit more. And if it's at the default one, then like it's just not enough in my opinion. So having a little bit there is is just the reason why I have a little bit of a <clears throat> little bit there. Moving on. Uh, Y'all speed, pitch speed. 250, 250 to me is pretty resemblance to a four, maybe a five on normal sensitivity in the default settings. So on ALC, it's around 250. Now, the reason why I've never put turning extra yaw on before, because what that does is as your joystick is moved all the way to the left or right, it gives you an additional speed to like be able to turn around. I used to never have that, and I felt that when I had these two settings up higher, um, yes, it was like it would move quicker and it would be pretty smooth, but I felt myself kind of looking past opponents in a sense if that makes if that does make sense to you guys. Like I'd be looking around moving and I would just not see these players. I would just overlook them. And as I've moved my sensitivity down and just having that extra speed on the 150 it actually to me helps my aim assist a little bit more up close to where i won't over aim and look past opponents anymore so uh that's basically why i play on a little bit of a lower sense now but then i add the the extra yaw so like when i turn around it's still pretty quick and then uh 
I guess that's just my explanation on that. Um, so anywhere around 250 to 300 are probably around a five sensitivity on these normal settings. And then, like I said, I just have the extra on now, just so if I'm getting shot in the back, it speeds up a little bit more because uh, I'm just putting on the, the ultimate input on my thumbstick. Everything else here, I don't have anything extra because I don't think those are use very useful. That's just my opinion on the things. Um, now, as far as your ADS speed, looking left and right and looking up and down. Before I move there, actually, I think this is also another very important thing. I used to have my yaw speed and pitch speed at different values. I think it is very important to have your values all on the same level, same playing field, because if you're looking to the left and up at the same time, your speeds are going to be different. And in that sense, it's going to kind of throw your aim off. So that's why, again, I feel like you should have your, your looking all on the same numbers. So it's a very smooth motion. There's not one input that's more than the other, and it helps just, I just think it overall helps you. Um, and that's the same thing leading up to ADS yaw speed and pitch speed. Now, this is looking left and right and up and down while aiming. Again, I don't think you're going to want to have two sensitivity differences when you're looking up and down and left and right. It's going to kind of throw your aim off. It's going to throw your tracking off 100%. And I just think that it's very important to have these sensitivities all in one fluid motion because, again, it's not going to throw your aim off. And, like, ability legends as this is, having good aim goes a long way. I don't always see a lot of people using the same aim numbers, and I think that's very important. Um, as far as 137 goes... I think it plays closer to a four, maybe a five sensitivity. So it might be a little bit quicker. Um, I could be off on that. Maybe it's more of like a four, definitely closer to a four on the, the default ADS. Um, but these settings are, I would say, middle of the road. They're not super slow, but they're not super quick, I don't think, either. So I honestly feel like it's a good balance unless you're a complete crackhead and wakes up and sniffs G fuel every morning um, that play on the super high sensitivities. I think these sense this specific sense and just overall everything can help you guys out. Uh, but that's basically just my overall explanation of everything. I hope it helps you in any sort of way. If it did, if it did like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Leave questions. Coming over the streams. We'll talk about it some more. Not going to prolong this anymore. Thank you guys for all the support and everything. I hope this... I really do help this, uh, these settings help answer some questions that I've seen on stream. And uh, just overall, new players, if you get a chance to watch this video, I hope it helps you there too. Um, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you in the next one.